Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. So right now it complains that we are missing something. Usually this complaint has nothing to do with the right complaint because it just gives you some dummy thing there. Um, I can say text and let's put hi and close it. And if I resume, the error will disappear. And you can see we have hot drinks and multiple highs here because this is what we are doing for each. Um, what we really want to do is to create a command N, new Swift UI view, click next, and this is going to be a called drink item. And now we are going to create our drink item. This is a more straightforward and easy to understand part because you can really visualize uh, we have an image, we have a name, a title, and then we have a text. So this goes vertically, so we put everything in a vertical stack. Um, for drink item to work, we are going to give it a drink. So we say var drink, and it's going to be type of drink. And again, this is going to be complaining that we need to provide a drink for our uh, canvas here. And what I'm going to do is access my drink data and basically take the first item from it. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as our uh, compiler here is satisfied, we can continue. So in the body, um, we're going to create one big vertical stack. And again, we're going to align the leading. And let's put spacing of 16 content. We're going to just get rid of this and put our curly braces here. All right, uh, we have a big V stack. What we want inside is first thing is our image. So we say image and then we need to give it an image. So the name of our image is we access our drink that we are passing to our drink item. And then I want to say dot image name. And let's just resume to see what we have here. Right, as you can see, it has a huge image now, which doesn't even fit our uh, iPhone here. And you can see the blue area is the real size of the image. So we need to change it. What I'm going to do is to say dot resizable. And then we are going to uh, put a render mode on it, we say render mode and this is going to be dot original. Um, let's put the aspect ratio. You can see the, the canvas here, it's changing every time we add something. We say aspect ratio and this is going to be uh, field. Now, the next thing, let's put a specific frame for it and the frame is going to be width 300 and height 170 alignment we don't need so i can just get rid of this and you can see now our image is being smaller and fixed and after frame we are going to make it a bit round in the corners as you can see here so let's add dot corner radius of 10. You can see how easy it is in a Swift UI to play with a user interface. And let's add some shadow. You can see our view here, our image has a shadow. So I can say dot shadow and our shadow is going to be 10 of radius. So you can see it's 
here i don't know i'm not sure if you can see we can zoom in so now you can see the shadow here is visible so once you have added all these different uh, options to our image uh, what you can do to make this nice indentation is control i and it fixes everything and makes them nice so once we have our image here let's just zoom out another thing we need to do is to add our title and our description here what i'm going to do is to put this in a separate v stack so we create another v stack here and this is going to have again alignment uh, leading spacing let's put five this is the space in between them and content we are going to put in our curly braces so we are going to need a text here which is going to be our drink dot name and you can see it appears here so let's make it a bit bigger because this is the title so we say uh, we put a color here foreground color is going to be the primary color and we we'll put the font here the font is going to be dot headliner so let's see it becomes bold the next thing again is a text which is our description so we say drink dot description and let's put a font here and the font let's put dot subheadline then uh, we can put a foreground color and this is going to be secondary and can see it adds some kind of gray to it like we have here um, another thing we're going to add is how many lines we want so we say uh, multi-line text let's put the alignment to be leading dot leading and then uh, we put line limit to be two lines and let's put a uh, maximum height of uh, let's put frame and well, we are not going to use width we are going to use height let's put 40 points here and the width we can actually just delete it and this is good about swift ui whatever you don't need you don't have to pass anything just get rid of it and let's select this and control i to make them nice indentation you can see um, we have our row ready we have our image we have our title and we have our description so let's just get rid of the empty spaces here right and now that we have our drink item ready we can get back to our row and instead of saying hi i'm going to say drink item and we are going to instantiate with a drink obviously and the drink is going to be the drink we have here because we are going to rule our drinks we are putting it here so for each drink we are going to have this and let's add some uh, options here i'm going to put a frame width is going to be 300 height we're not going to put anything and alignment we are not going to use this so put the frame and then let's add some padding here and padding i want thrilling and let's put 30 points here all right so we have each drink item next to the other one and we have a padding of 30 points so far so good it looks nice to me and i think we are done here um the only thing we need to do is for our text we just add a font here we'll make it bigger and let's put it 
title. So it's much bigger and obvious that this is the title. So we have our drink row and we have our drink objects. So what we can do in our next lecture is we go to our home and we can actually show all these different drinks in our coffee here instead of just saying hi. In order to do that, we are going to first uh, write some magic code to get all the information from Firebase and keep us updated. So stay tuned. We will see you in our next lecture.